Hey guys, welcome to another Tool Tutorial Friday. Today we're going to learn how to use the table saw. Um, basically, the blade is within the table, and the blade just comes comes up right above the table itself. When you first start, you want to you look at the wood and make sure that your blade is just, you know, like maybe an eighth of an inch above the depth of your wood. On this table saw, the way that it's operated, we have the on-off switch. Um, there is also the up and down, the up and down blade adjustment. To make the bevel adjustment, I'm going to push in, and then I can turn the blade to a bevel, whichever angle that I want. You can see the saw blade is moving to the side. And then once I get the angle I want, I just release it. And then always put my guard back down. Once your blade is set, it's really important to have the guard down. This particular saw has a kickback mechanism, which is this little bar here with teeth on it. What that does, it protects the wood from being shot back out at you. So once the wood starts to go through, these teeth will keep it from flying. That's a really good safety mechanism to have on your table saw. The other thing that's good to have for your table saw when you're working on it is a, is a shop back. Shop back is hooked up to the port in the back. That way you don't have all kinds of sawdust flying out. The last thing that you should use when you're using a table saw is definitely use your safety equipment. Um, eye protection is a must. Dust mask, definitely a good idea, especially if you're working really fibrous material. And finally, ear protection. This sucker is really loud. The other thing that I use when I'm using a table saw is I use um, a push stick. You can buy one, but I actually made my own. It's just a piece of plywood. Um, when you're making a cut that's very uh, it's very narrow and you don't have much room between your blade and your um, and your adjustment guide. I like to use a push stick because I don't want to put my hand in there at all. In order to measure your wood to where you want to cut it, I like using um, a carpenter square. This is a perfect 90 degree angle and I will mark on my board where I want the cut to be. Then basically I'll put the square up against here, let it kind of fall down a little bit. Make my line. That's going to give me a good idea about where the saw is going to cut through. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and line up the line with the blade. So I will line up the saw blade so that it's right on there, allowing for the width of the, of the saw blade itself which is like a sixteenth of an inch on this blade and move my guide over lock it down now it's set for my cut the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blade up to the right height basically want the blade just above plywood just a, just a you know like a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch above. Put my guard back down and I get my cut. Put my hand protection on and my safety goggles. Once the saw is 
straight cut.